The project, as well as the conference, focus basically on social benefits and social services that are not provided or not entirely provided by the state. And so these leave rooms for additional providers. And social partners, from time to time, they act like that. So they provide additional services or additional social benefits. It was the first time, in fact, that the European Commission granted uh, funds to try and understand whether throughout Europe there is a tendency to increasingly organize important aspects of the welfare state through social dialogue. Voluntary occupational welfare is precisely these uh, supplementary uh, protection, childcare, training courses, flu vaccination for instance in the field of healthcare that are provided by uh, social partners. Sometimes, if social partners invest in additional supplementary protection, this is not a truly substitution of the role of the state, but can be a sort of support, sometimes temporary support, that allow basically uh, the same social partners to then mobilize and ask the state to intervene in the field and to spend public money on it. Until now, most of the activities were done on the company level or to some extent also on a sectoral level. So now the big challenge for us is to have a look to which extent we can be helpful and to have an coordinated activities on European level. The first thing when I saw the project was that it was so clearly presented so I had immediately the feeling that those people who have written uh, the, the application were involved and they really wanted to achieve something new in a very innovative way. In a way we sent out our research teams in these eight countries as 007 agents. We really had to dig into the existing material, if there was any, into statistics. We did a wide range of interviews. We did an online survey among trade union and employers. Through reading the project, it was clear what they meant and that they were not over ambitious, but focusing on concrete aims they wanted to achieve within one year, which is a very short period. Through occupational welfare, the effect of dualization and segmentation might be doubled, so there is a risk there. So I think in this respect, I mean, trade unions approaching this kind of project and have a better understanding about what are the most important challenges uh, they uh, have and how eventually these challenges can be overcome. One of the most interesting findings is that basically the crisis has not led to a massive privatization of social benefits and social services. The picture is a little bit more mixed and complex and what we see is on the one hand countries where basically the state and social partners both invest in producing welfare for the workers and for the citizens while in some other cases what we see is a huge risk of what we have called the double retreat. That means basically cutbacks uh, in the public budget, so reducing social protection through mandatory statutory schemes. But on the other hand, there is the parallel decrease of investments from the employers and the trade unions on providing additional supplementary protection. I think the results of this project can not only inform social partners, but can also be of interest to other stakeholders, such as the European Commission in its approach of achieving a more social cohesion within Europe, but also should be a starting point for further academic research and might be perceived to be the nucleus of a European database on occupational welfare.